Hello, in this video you will learn how to create a new alert. Let's start by clicking on the new button in the alerts tab. Next, you will need to choose the metrics we want to be alerted on. For this example, let's create an alert on all metrics related to total units in electronics. What represents the KPI or the measurement of the metric? Pick total units as the what. You will notice that there are 144 metrics to meet this KPI. Now, Let's filter it down to show only metrics related to category electronics. The number of metrics is now reduced to 42. Anadot supports dozens of different functions that help you manipulate the data, such as group by, ratio pairs, and much more. You will learn about that in a separate video. For this video, let's continue with the 42 raw metrics that we choose. Click the Save button and let's move on to the next section, the Settings. As you might already know, Anadot aggregates the raw metrics into four different timescale buckets, one minute, five minute, one hour, and one day. The total units metrics are at a one day granularity, so let's change the timescale to see the results in the simulation tool on the right side. The alert simulation tool is designed to visualize the effectiveness of the alert setting. Anadot gives each anomaly a significant score based on how variant it is from the normal behavior of the metric. The higher the score, the more significant the anomaly. The system estimates that two alerts per month will be generated. Changing the significant score from 70 to 50 will increase the estimated alert rate to three alerts per week. To learn more about all the available settings, please refer to the video in the description below this video. Once you're happy with the alert setting, click the Save button. Give the alert a unique name and description. To make the alert actionable, you can use the description to provide some guidance to next steps and links to existing runbooks. You can set the severity of the alert based on the criticality of the monitored metrics in the different settings. Lastly, choose the communication channel that you want to use to receive the alert. Anadot supports the following channels, Users, Active Users of Anadot, Slack, the alert will be sent to your selected Slack channel, Webhook, you can invoke any webhook to perform some automation. The alert details will be sent to the body of the post request and email. Click the save button to complete the alert creation. Thanks for watching. Check out our other tutorials to learn more about how to use Anadot.